In this video, we're gonna look into three different ways going from hard to easy to make what might be the baddest sauce ever. And not only is it bad, it knows it's bad. Such a bad sauce can seem unapproachable, maybe even a bit high maintenance. Let this video be the icebreaker that makes you and the world's baddest sauce best friends. The first method is the most plain, but also the one that requires the most technique. Though if you become comfortable doing it this way, it will quickly become your preferred way to make hollandaise. Add yolks, lemon juice and a bit of salt directly to a pot. I generally like to use 3 yolks to a little under half a pound, or 200 grams of butter. And the juice from half a lemon and a bit of heat. Note that this will give you a pretty lemony hollandaise. Bring your pot to the stove, turn it to a low to a medium heat, and now we're gonna go all Ramsey on this. Yes, sir. Wake up! Yes, sir. You just finished uh, the order, yeah. you lazy cow! Uh, that guy. You know, taking the pot on and off the heat, like when he makes scrambled eggs. Which is ironic since we don't want to scramble these jokes. What we're trying to achieve with this technique is to get a gentle and consistent heat throughout the pot, continuously whisking the contents, slowly bringing the yolks up in temperature. Notice, as they heat up, the mixture will start to thicken. Once they reach a thick and creamy consistency like this, begin to add your melted butter. It is very important that the butter isn't too hot, as it will quickly raise the temperature too much and scramble the yolks. Start by adding a small amount at first, making sure to fully combine it with the yolks before adding more. Once you've done this a few times and feel like you have a solid emulsion, you can go harder on the butter. Incorporate all of the butter. I usually just add the milk solids as well, instead of properly clarifying the butter. This will make your sauce a fair bit thinner, which I think is a good thing, since the plain butter version can get quite thick, and also because it will thicken a bit once it cools down. And there you have it. You ignorant bitch! Look what at my fuck fucking eyes when I'm talking to you! Away. Such an ass. Sorry about that. Uh, Ramsey has been bunking with me for a while. His family threw him out, uh, because in his words, they made soggy spinach. Yeah, anyways. Do make sure to adjust your sauce with salt and acid, only if needed, of course. You want it nice and bright to balance all of that butter. Although you've now successfully made your hollandaise sauce, you can still be in for an awful disappointment. Remember that we just built up heat in the pot. All that heat is still there. So if you just leave it in the pot, there's a risk when you return to it that it might be split or even worse, the yolks might be scrambled. So, either make sure you keep an eye on it and give it the occasional whisk or transfer it to some other container. This technique is called the double barler. Or if you want to impress someone, or maybe want to be incredibly annoying to be around, bain marie in French. For this, you need a pot and a bowl that fits well together. Add around an inch of water to the pot and bring it to a low simmer. Place the bowl on top and add the same ingredients as before to the bowl. Make sure your water stays at a low simmer. If it comes to a full boil, it will become too hot. This method is a more foolproof version of the first one, as the steam from the water will heat the bowl very, very gently. Repeat the same process, but do remember that if your butter is too hot, it can still ruin everything. One of the great advantages using this method is that once done, you can remove the pot and bowl from the heat, and the residual heat from the water will keep the sauce warm, though do still be careful. As promised, we're going even easier. Using a blender, just add the same ingredients to the blender and give it a thorough mixing. Then add your butter, but be sure it's around 150-155ish degrees Fahrenheit. This will heat up your sauce to the right temperature. Add it in a thin stream while running the blender at low speed. Easy. If you want some inspiration on what to eat your hollandaise sauce with, go watch my videos on poaching eggs and pan frying salmon. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I have a thousand egg whites and a gallon of hollandaise to eat. See you next time. Take care.